Hey everybody, Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist here at Adobe. It's my pleasure to give you Photoshop users an update on a feature that's pretty cool and I think you're going to like. Share for Review has some new capabilities in public beta. Let's check it out. And this is for people that need to share their Photoshop files to get review, feedback, comments on what changes need to be made, but not necessarily sharing the Photoshop file itself. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have a multi-layered Photoshop file with um, different artboards, and this is the typical kind of design document. Now I can see some changes I'd like to make, but before I dive into making changes to this uh, Photoshop template, I'd love to get some feedback from the people that matter, from the people that I'm doing this for, my boss, my friends, my colleagues, whoever this may be. So you'll notice the nice big blue share button in the upper right hand corner, right here in Photoshop. You can now just go ahead and click that button and now it's easy to identify what you want to share this for. So if I'm inviting people to edit the actual document, other designers, people that I want to have access to the Photoshop file, Photoshop users that are going to make changes, then I can go ahead and invite them to edit. But in most cases, you're probably just going to want to share for review. And that's what we're here to talk about today. When I click share for review, it'll give me the option to share this with anyone or I can just uh, invite specific people. So anyone with a link is what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and create that link right now. So we'll just let that link create. And even if it takes a few minutes, you can go on and keep working, but we're going to wait it out. Great. Now that that link's been created, I can share this any way I want. I can go ahead and copy that link. I could share it via email, Slack, social media, text message, any way that I want. But I've gone ahead and copied it to the clipboard because I'm going to show you what the person would get that opens your link. So let's go ahead and pop over to my browser. Here I am in Chrome. And I've gone ahead and created a new incognito tab. Incognito or private browsing simply means that I won't be logged in with my normal Adobe ID. It will just not know who I am. None of that information is cached. So this way you get the real experience of giving this link to someone who has no idea what Adobe is, Photoshop or anything else, they just want to review the content. So as you see it, you see what you see in Photoshop. You see the artboards, you see all the layers, you see everything, but the person doesn't have to worry about any of the tools or making changes or anything like that. They get a comment panel, which is great. So for example, they could use a pinpoint and we'll just go ahead and drop that pin right here and we can add our comment. We can say, uh, perhaps, Perhaps move the model to the left. All right. And, um, you, you know, you can even uh, use emojis, but we're going to do that on the next comment. Let's go ahead and hit submit. Now, keep in mind, I did the incognito window for a reason. So I'm not logged in. What happens when I click submit? When I click submit, it gives me two choices. I can log in with my Adobe ID if I have one. Great. Awesome. But I don't even know what that is. I'm just going to go ahead and do it as a guest. We're going to do Jane Smith. All right, so I'll be Jane Smith today. And we'll go ahead and click Continue. And now Jane Smith has left a comment. Awesome. Next, let's go ahead and draw something now with the uh, pencil. So we're going to go ahead and draw this. And we're even going to make a little arrow over here. And we can say, you know, for example, maybe, or just, we're not even going to say maybe, move the text. <laughs> to the left. And let's go ahead and use that emoji feature, which is new. We're going to drop the emoji in. We can say, oh my God, I can't believe you covered her face with that text. All right, go ahead and hit submit. Great, now that comment's been dropped. And then the last one, I'm just going to do another draw here. I'm just going to say, hey, this is hard to read. Maybe put some, or move it around. Um, I'll just say the text is hard to read and takes away from the tattoo. All right, cool. Submit. And now those three comments have been made. And of course, this could be this could be given to multiple people and you would get all the different comments in the comments panel from everyone that you gave this link to. However, as a Photoshop user, you don't have to worry about the web experience because you're going to be working in Photoshop. Now, even if you didn't have Photoshop open, you would get push notifications to the Creative Cloud app on your mobile device as well as emails letting you know that comments have been left. 
So you check your email and you go back into that Photoshop file, you bring up the comments panel, and just like magic, those comments not only came in, but they came in in line with your Photoshop file. So you can go in and address them one by one to um, make the changes that you need. So for example, this first one, which was perhaps move the model to the left. So let me go ahead and move Photoshop over here. Let's get this sized up. There we go. Let's grab our move tool. We have it on auto select. We can go ahead and grab our model and move her over a little to the left. Great. So now that I've addressed that comment, I'm gonna go ahead and mark it as resolved. So when I mark it as resolved, it goes into the archive. I can always go back and check on it, but um, that comment has been resolved and therefore the comment goes away from my view. Now next up, we have this big issue here where the text on the second design panel is, um, it, it just, it's all over the place. So let's, let's go ahead and take care of this. Let's bring some order to this. We'll go ahead and just, um, we'll go in, oh, this is the wrong artboard. Let's go to the right artboard. There we go. I knew that text looked weird. Wasn't saying the right things. There we go. We'll grab this text. All four of these, uh, all four of these layers need to move over. So now we'll grab our move tool and we'll just pick up one of those layers, which will pick up all four and we'll move that text exactly where they wanted it. Great. So now we'll go ahead and mark that one resolved and you get the idea. We will go ahead and take care of the one with the tattoo as well. This is a great way for you to share your Photoshop files to everyone that matters, everyone that you need to get feedback from, and they can go ahead and give you that feedback in a web browser, anywhere they happen to be with an internet connection, and you get those comments right in line in your Photoshop document. So be sure to check this feature out. Let us know how you feel about it in the comments. Cheers, everyone, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.